few years ago, we dreamed about what would be next. What if we upgraded our buildings, added critical academic programs, and graduated more students than ever before? And what if we did all that while remaining one of the most affordable universities in the country? That was next. Now, it's reality. Missouri State continues to put students like me first. A new plan to keep tuition affordable meant the cost of attendance stayed below national and state averages. That's a big deal for a campus that set another enrollment record. There's more than 26,000 of us now. That includes more than 1,500 international students and even more program initiatives with countries outside the United States. And several of us won big awards. A new state law means we'll have more access to graduate and doctoral degrees, too. After all, Missouri State's proven the quality of its programs. We received awards for several in the last year. Of course, facilities attract students and faculty. That's why Missouri State followed through on improvements to Glass, Ellis, and Hill Hall. We also opened the state-of-the-art Majors Health and Wellness Center. Have you heard we are now in all Steinway School too? These improvements are thanks in large part to the support from our state legislators and to the foundation raising more than $21 million in gifts. These changes will also help faculty and students continue their key research projects, which nabbed more than $26 million in grants this year. The grand total of alumni keeps going up. A record number of us graduated and a record number earned bachelor's degrees. Missouri State's support helped us cross that finish line. Thanks to programs such as the Impact Summit, the Bears Lead Program for Student Success, and a conference aimed at helping first-generation students. In fact, we're ranked as the top university for first-gen students. MSU also continued its quest to be an inclusive leader. They accepted the first class of Bear Power students, established the Facing Racism Institute, and were one of two universities selected to host the Dungy Leadership Institute. We also welcomed a new chancellor to West Plains. It's also nice to call this place home because of a commitment to sustainability. On the field, our student athletes shined. Championships in baseball, men's and women's soccer, women's golf, Men's and women's swimming and diving, women's tennis, and volleyball resulted in our Missouri Valley Conference All Sports Trophy. The NBA said yes to Alizé Johnson, who became the first Bear drafted into the league since 1987. Lily Johnson finished one of the best careers in school history with her fourth All-American season, a first at Missouri State. The Baseball Bears continued their run of success with three drafted players. Jeremy Ironman, Dylan Coleman, and Hunter Steinmetz. A new head basketball coach has Bears fans excited for what's next at JQH Arena. Uh, I'll see you guys later. In short, that's what's new at MSU. What's next? We can't wait to find out. <laughs>